So, Roger, we appreciate you uh, having us here today. Absolutely. Uh, I guess we'd like to know a little bit about CAST Technologies. We use graphite as the base of the mold and basically cut all of the casting uh, cavity features into the graphite. Uh, graphite is a, a great product for uh, a mold base because it's non-wetting. So when you inject the molten metal into the mold, it does not stick to the mold. Also, when you inject the metal into the mold, uh, the mold does not warp or check the way steel or iron tools will. So it holds a net shape very well. We're able to cast tolerances within a few thousandths, uh, basically the thickness of a human hair. We manufacture the molds here in-house, and then we also produce the castings down in the foundry. We use a zinc alloy, ZA12, which is a high strength casting alloy and it works very well with the graphite molds because it's a relatively low melting temperature alloy and therefore uh, in conjunction with the graphite molds which would burn up at higher uh, temperatures uh, we're able to inject the metal into those molds and uh, get good repeatable castings. So basically what happens now is we're going to melt in these gas melting furnaces Fellows are going to then take this metal out of here on an hourly basis and fill the low-pressure furnaces that we've developed. We then apply air pressure to that and pump the metal up into the mold. Therefore, we get a nice low flow rate and we're able to fill the tool with a very clean metal. So the operator then takes this casting, cuts the runner system away, and we're left with a resulting set of castings with devices that we are have cast into place now so that we can take this part and set it up in a machining center and do some secondary machining to this. We're actually machining the parts away from the fixturing features now. So now you've seen this part go from this step to where we now have two individual parts 